एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Well, if selected for the first test, how much would you relish the chance to face these star Indian bowlers like uh, Boomer and Shami and Jadeja and uh, Ashwin? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, obviously, just challenging yourself at the next level is is pretty exciting in itself. I haven't had the opportunity to do it yet um, for one reason or another, and uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. Uh, you watch these blokes on TV dominating around the world, and um, Sort of never think, oh yeah, that that could be me facing them one day. But uh, yeah, it could potentially become a reality. When uh, India was here a couple of summers ago, of course, uh, you uh, you know, you didn't play back then. But um, what do you remember of uh, watching the likes of Boomer and Shami steam in and and the spinners go to work? Uh, I remember it being a very tense series. I remember sort of watching. Just um, there seemed to be a lot of momentum shifts and. Obviously, when two very good teams come up against each other, that that seems, seems to be the case. So, um, I wouldn't expect it to be any different this summer. To be honest, if anything, it'll it'll be even more intense. I don't think we had uh, Smithy and, and Warner last time either. So, um, having those two back, hopefully, Davy can get up and and be fit um, at least at some stage during the series, if not the first test. And then, obviously, having having Smithy around, who's I think the best batter in the world um, will obviously be a huge plus for us. Just wondering, how big a rise in standard do you think the uh, the Indian bowlers will be from what you've faced in first class cricket? Uh, uh, obviously, they're they're very good bowlers, but um, I've faced a lot of good bowling in first class cricket in the nets. And um, at the end of the day, I just try and look at it and go, "Well, it's just a ball coming down at you, and I just got to do my best to react in the best way possible." So. Um, it's one of those things that's out of my control, so I won't put too much energy or effort into, I guess, worrying about that. It'll just be about trying to make sure that I'm I'm best prepared to to react in the best way possible. And just a, a, a quick uh, follow up: What did you make of all the talk of a a bat off between you and Joe before um, Dave was hurt? Uh, I didn't pay much attention to to it, to be honest. Um, I was sort of just, as I said, sort of occupied with things that are that are in my control. So back in Melbourne, I was just trying to get out of out of the cricket bubble where I could, and then when I train, just focus on what I needed to focus on. So yeah, it never really phased me. Just on the potential of playing in Adelaide again, it's going to be a pink ball test match. I think you've played a couple of day night first class games in in your career. What do you make of the different challenge posed by the the pink ball and day night conditions as opposed to the the normal sort of uh, first class game? Yeah, it can be a bit different. The pink ball, it's um, it's pretty cool though. Like it's pretty fun once it gets, especially into that dusk uh, evening time. It's one of those things. Growing up, you never really thought would ever happen, but um, obviously that's that's part of Test cricket now. And uh, yeah, it's a it's an unbelievable atmosphere. Um, I haven't exactly been uh, playing in a in a Test match with a crowd with a pink ball yet, but. Um, yeah, just watching, and I've I've been to one or two days. I reckon Australia pre- played New Zealand at the Adelaide Oval maybe two or three years ago, and I just happened to be in Adelaide at the time, and and we went down and watched an hour or two, and it was an incredible atmosphere. So if I if I do get that opportunity, I'm pretty excited. Is it is it something you're going to be putting some extra work into over the next few weeks? Obviously, I don't quite know when you'll be going to Adelaide to link up with the squad, but will you have some extended sessions under lights with a a pink ball? Uh, yeah, I think that's just part of your preparation normally anyway. It's still just a ball coming down at the end of the day. It's a bit of a different colour. So uh, I have hit plenty of pink balls in the past anyway. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things where you, you might have a couple of extra sessions just to get used to it again. But yeah, it's something that we, we train for and prepare for. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hey, Will, I noticed you spent a lot of time today with Tim Payne. I'm just wondering what he said to you. Uh, oh, what doesn't he say, Tim? Uh, oh, it was probably a lot of general chit-chat, to be honest. Uh, him probably revving me up, trying to tell me he's better than me at FIFA or something like that, which which isn't true. But, um, yeah, we just sort of discuss discuss anything and everything. I get along really well with him. So, yeah, whether it's cricket or, or outside cricket, um, yeah, it wouldn't have been anything too out of the ordinary. And just um, heading into this Australian A game, is there a little bit less pressure on you now that um, obviously David Warner um, heading into the test might not be able to, to play. Do you feel a little bit less pressure? Uh, not necessarily. I think you've always got got an expectation or, or a will to, to perform. So that doesn't really change to me too much regardless of, of what's going on outside. So 
um, yeah, I've just been focused on making sure all my processes and, and routines are in place and then, um, yeah, trying to let the rest take care of itself. Um, Will, obviously you're batting in the nets with Joe today. Uh, what is your relationship like with Joe? I know I think you batted once together in a, a tour game previously. Have you spent much time with him in the last couple of days or chatting to him much? Uh, Joe and I get along really well, which is obviously a good start. Um, I guess, yeah, we haven't batted together heaps, but uh, that's that's cricket. You end up batting with people that you, you don't bat with very often. And uh, as long as you sort of know how to bounce off each other um, and sort of get each other going in the middle or or know what each other require, uh, I think that's all that really matters. So we're just, yeah, I've had a few conversations just about little things just to just to help each other through. So, um, yeah, nothing too too out of the ordinary, just the simple things. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.